Hey everybody, it's Paul again from Paul's Fishing Charters from Lake of the Woods, Kenora, Ontario. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about oil maintenance. Clean, dirty. However, this is about three or four, maybe about four uses already. And while it is a little bit darker, there's nothing wrong with using it over and over and over. In fact, I continue to clean my oil throughout the summer. And while I continue to add just a little bit every time, I do manage to keep about eight liters going pretty much the entire summer. So here what I did, this was completely full and I simply put this in my cast iron pan. Um, I'm not doing a lot of fish today, so I actually didn't use the whole thing. Sometimes I fill it right up and in fact, what I'll do is I'll top it up with some fresh stuff. But today I didn't have to, so we're only gonna use three quarters of it. And then watch to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to filter it to make sure that it doesn't continue to going darker and darker and darker on you. One of the biggest tricks is making sure you don't get your heat temperature too high. Uh, 350, so the most important thing to not get our oil over dark is to make sure that it doesn't get too hot. Uh, 350, 375, not a problem. 400, it's gonna start smoking and it actually gets darker and darker and darker and it will even change the taste of your fish or your anything you're cooking. It will it'll change the taste of your food. Today we got this up to about 300 degrees. We're gonna make a couple potatoes uh, french fries and then we're gonna have a little bit of fish for dinner and then like I mentioned at the end of the video You're gonna see how to clean this and get it so you can use it pretty much all summer long Our temperature is hitting about 300 degrees right now and we're just about to put in the french fries Now I don't do these french fries very hot and the reason being is I'm simply wanting to cook them in this first batch What's gonna happen is your oil is gonna drop a little bit in temperature but you're gonna cook those french fries throughout before you serve them. Then we're gonna put them aside and you're gonna have a second flash at about 375 degrees and the second cooking will allow the french fries to crispen and brown just before serving them. Otherwise, you end up serving white potatoes. You don't wanna do that. French fries are still cooking. I put them in around 300, it dropped to about 250, 255. They're just sitting here, you'll notice they're still white, they're not browning. This oil will not go up until those french fries are 100% fully cooked. All right, here we go, temperature is rising, past that 275 through 300. That means our potatoes are cooked thick, they are getting a little bit brown, so I'm gonna take them out now. Fish done, ready 375. We don't want to get it any hotter here, guys. 400, it's going to start to smoke and it's going to start to burn. All right, here we go. The oil is 200, just under 200 degrees. And you'll notice there's a couple French fries in there. All of that oil is a little bit dirty. Now we're going to bring it inside. It's still 200 degrees. We finished dinner, but if we didn't finish dinner, I would actually reheat this to about 150. And it just changes the viscosity of the oil to a point where it just pours a little bit easier and it's not too thick. So here we are inside where we started off with the older oil. And here's the two magic tricks. A $10 coffee filter from Walmart and a funnel. This is where the magic in oil maintenance begins. Why? Because everybody uses a ladle and a coffee filter, those paper ones, and they take hours and hours and hours. We still have hot 200 degree oil, and we're simply going to put that filter right inside the funnel. Now I did cut this off a little bit to increase the volume of oil that would be able to go through there. And because my oil is still 200 degrees, I am still using my Camp Chef gloves. Now here we go. We can time this in just a couple of seconds. I simply pour this right into that filter inside the funnel and right back into my four liter container that oil goes. Now as we get a little closer to the bottom we do get a lot of that fish flour and cornflakes that I used. And once I feel we're at it, I stop. And you'll notice inside there, that's where all of our 
mess is. We're gonna leave that out. And that's gonna simply go straight into the garbage. By the time I come back, I put that right into the dishwasher, put my cover on it. At 200 degrees, I still have oil in a container I can put. I'll probably leave this out a little while. It is actually pretty warm, uh, but that's not gonna melt your plastic. And that viscosity of the oil at about 150 to 200 is perfect to go through the filter, go through the funnel. You'll notice there's a little powder in there. I'm not gonna use that obviously. And don't be afraid to use this in your potatoes. Don't use it, be afraid to use this with your eggs. Use this in your average cooking so the next time you get to the deep fryer, you're gonna to simply top it up with a little bit of fresh oil, clean it up even more, and that will last you really the entire summer. That's five deep fries now, and that is not a misflavored oil in any way, shape, or form. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to hit the notifications so you see all of our new videos. Thanks, and have a great day from paulsfishingcharters.com, and don't forget to look us up the next time you're anywhere near Clearwater Bay in Kenora, Ontario. Thanks, and have a great day. I know these aren't a restaurant, deep fryers, so we have to make sure that we get a little bit hotter. None of that made sense, did it? You're just totally laughing at me. Can you zoom in and get a nice close up of the temperature? Yeah, it's up here.